whenever my mom gets the chance, she says stuff to me like, you know, Tamara, if, if you would just put a little bit of effort into it, you would be beautiful. Really? And I, ever in angst, will look dramatically out of the car window. Or the kitchen window. Or just like off in the space if there is no window flashback. <laughs> <laughs> to 15 year old me, Dante's seventh level of hell equals our dining room. Full of middle aged women clucking over my mother's current supply of wonder makeup. Guaranteed to make you beautiful. I have been guilted into submission by the concept that selling makeup equals sneakers and that one day I will be thankful for this experience and unwillingly present as my mother's living, breathing test dummy. My face, her whiteboard. She pinning precise instructions on the art of painting on gorgeous and when finished would parade me around the room for old ladies to ooh and ah over her handiwork. This scar. Must be why, whenever I wear this stuff, I always feel like people are staring at me, so hence, I have a drawer full of makeup that has never been unwrapped. My mother often calls and asks if I've worn it yet, and I say things to her like, Ma, no. Because in the morning, when I wash my face, it feels clean, and I like that. And then, I put the makeup on, and it makes me feel like I need to wash my face like there's stuff all over, and then I realize the reason why I feel like that it's because there's stuff all over me, so my, no. There is an uncomfortable silence on the phone. And for the millionth time in my life, I wish I were as beautiful as my mother wants me to be. Wish I were the cheerleader type. But I've always liked my face better in a book than I ever did a mirror. I'm okay with not being in the prom queen. Would rather wear my anomalies like beauty marks would prefer to be flawed in permanent ink than picture perfect and dry erase marker when I was young. My mother hung purple bubble letters above the mirror in my bedroom that read beauty is as beauty does and I, who had never been impressed by my reflection, decided if I was ever going to be beautiful, I was going to have to figure out what my does was so I am always in search of things to do because when I grow up, I want to be beautiful. Like my mother's smile in the morning when she was waking us up. She was only home long enough to get us up, out, to job number two, three, and a four before she closed the day out. Call me hard work, say she walks like it, that she talks like it. I, I want to be beautiful, like my mother's hands. Twisted and arthritic spasm of fish driving us to school in the morning taught me that sometimes, in order to make it happen, you have to fight through the pain. I want to be beautiful, like my daughter's eyes. Want that I can show her how to be beauty in action, to take her hand in mind, use time as our paintbrush, brush, the minutes and hours to create many masterpieces that when she looks back on her life, she will say, Ma, I am thankful for the experience. Like when I look at my mother, I am thankful for the experience of learning how to be beautiful from the best.